Marsh doesn't have a house. Marsh lives from hotel to hotel room. We're learning there will be a CPS hearing on Monday to determine who will receive temporary custody of Krishan Jr. As you all know, his parents, Blueface and now Krishan, are both behind bars. And any time that both parents are in jail, Child Protective Services must step in to make sure that the child has these three things. One, an adult that can care for them that has a roof over their head. Two, an adult that can care for them that can afford to take care of them. And three, an adult who does not have a current CPS case. And it looks like that the person that is supposed to get custody of him in the event that Krishan can't take care of him does not meet any of those qualifications. According to Tronics Network Headquarters. When, in the case when both parents are incarcerated, it is a mandatory DCF report. It is, or CPS as they call it in Cali. It's a mandated CPS report. A reporter has to come out there and make sure whoever has custodial guardianship of the child has, is fit to be a guardian. Because Marsh does not have a stable home, she cannot assume guardianship of Junior. Therefore, they're going to look to next of kin. They have to come out and do a home assessment, make sure that the house is livable, that it's safe, he has a crib, there's food in the fridge, all that. The only person who can provide that right now, that stability, is Carlissa. Like it or not, Carlissa is going to be the only viable candidate to take the baby. And some would argue that Marsh is a great candidate to take the baby. However, this blogger says that Marsh cannot stay with Krishan because Krishan's temper and she's so volatile. Marsh does not live in Krishan's mansion. She stays there from time to time. But Krishan is unpredictable. She kicks people out. She fights people. Marsh lives in hotel rooms. And she has her own DCF case, for that matter, if y'all really want to know. So she cannot take the baby. All right? Check it out. Marsh has her own DCF case, y'all. I'm very sad that y'all don't know that, but it is what it is. Okay, even if Marsh lives in Krishan's mansion, she needs to prove to DCF or CPS that it's her home, that she can support the home. And no one has access to Krishan's money. So how can Marsh prove to CPS that she can... Marsh has to be able to prove that she can she can um, sustain the home. She doesn't have the income to afford Krishan's home. And sad to say that because of all of this, because of Krishan putting herself last and blue face first, she could lose custody of her child.